one evening, Dad was watching the television at his friend Pat Harrington Jr.'s house, who he had worked with on the Steve Allen show, and he saw something on the tube that made him jump right out of his skin. His old Broadway buddy, Andy Griffith, was starring in a sitcom pilot about a small town sheriff. He couldn't wait to get him on the phone. And it's Don. Uh, listen, I saw your show. Uh, could you use a deputy? Andy said, Don, that's brilliant. I'll set up a meeting with Sheldon Leonard and you go on in. And he did. And so Dad went to that meeting and he pitched his idea for a character of an earnest but overexcitable deputy and Barney Fife was born. <laughs> yep. Dad worked on that show five days a week, up to 12 hours a day. We hardly saw him, but sometimes he'd take us to work with him. And I have some memories. Oh, boy. I love coming to the set of downtown Mayberry, seeing the courthouse and the barbershop and the pharmacy. Wow. But it looks very real from the front. But when I go into a building, there's just a bunch of lights and cables. <laughs> just like the Wizard of Oz, it isn't real. <laughs> but I love talking to the cast. They're always so warm and welcoming, especially Betty Lynn, Thelma Lou. She always comes over and gives me a big hug. <laughs> you can see how warm and friendly she is. <laughs> <laughs> and I love talking to Ronnie Howard, Opie. We're the same age, seven, but he's not like any of the other kids I know. He's, he's got the reddest hair of any boy I know. Oh, I don't have a crush on him or anything. <laughs> Maybe a little. <laughs> but he's not like any of the other kids. For one thing, he has his own little schoolhouse right on the set and a private teacher to do his bidding. <laughs> then I heard a voice. It was a voice I knew and I loved. It was the voice of Aunt B. Oh, I turned around and looked. She was smoking a cigarette. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I actually went up to her and I said, Aunt B, you're smoking. She went, that's right, kid. I'm still a hot chick. That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> and then Jim Neighbors Gomer comes up behind me, picks me up, and he was really strong. He lifts me up over his head. Wow, I feel like I'm flying. Like everybody down there is smaller than me. <laughs> I think everybody thought it was kind of fun, except for that time the crew had to clean up after I got sick on the Gomer coaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those were my happy days. <laughs> well. The town of Mayberry was make-believe, of course, but it was based very closely on Andy Griffith's real hometown of Mount Airy, North Carolina. 